there are anatomical things. These are imaginary planes that cut the body into uh, pieces. So we have the sagittal plane, as you can see it here, the blue one. And this cuts the body into two sides, right and left uh, parts. If it is in the midline, then it is called the median plane or the mid-sagittal plane. But the sagittal plane could be at any uh, other level, could be off the midline, could be what we call parasagittal plane. And then we have the frontal plane, which is the green one here. You can see it is perpendicular to the sagittal plane. It's also called coronal plane. I will show you the derivatives of the names of these uh, planes, why it's called sagittal and coronal. So the, the coronal plane divides the body into anterior parts located in the front and posterior part located uh, behind. And then we have the transverse planes. You can see that these three planes are perpendicular to each other. One of them is perpendicular to each other. So the horizontal or transverse plane, sometimes it's called axial plane. If you are dealing with an X-ray, particularly a CT scan or an MRI, usually radiologists use the term axial plane. It, it cuts the body or it cuts the part of the body in a um, horizontal direction. This is the origin of the coronal and sagittal planes. This is what we call the skull cap or the calvaria of the skull. We are looking at the skull from above. And um, this is the skull after two years of age. But here, this is the newborn skull. You can see that the bones of the skull are separated from each other by wide spaces containing fibrous tissue, not like these sutures. And also, you can see that there are spaces which are not ossified. They are not bony, and they are called fontanelles, a small of fountain. So we have an anterior fontanel and a posterior fontanel here. And also, this bone here, which is the frontal bone, the blue one, is in two pieces and then these two pieces will uh, fuse with each other um, later on so in in other words this uh, picture of the um, these sutures and the fontanelles will give rise or it is much more similar to the uh, arrow of the uh, sagittarius so that's why this plane uh, lies in here, lies in, in the sagittal plane. And that's why the sagittal plane is called the sagittal plane, because it lies in the plane of this arrow. And then the coronal suture, this is the coronal suture, which divides the body into anterior and posterior parts. It lies where the crown, some of types of crowns are uh, put on the head. That's why it is called the coronal suture.